1971, there is no legal link between paper and gold. It's gone. Now all that they have to do, those who want to rule the world, <laughs> all that they have to do is to take control of money. Anyone who takes control of money can rule the world. And you know that when the Messiah comes, the prophet Isaiah said that when the Messiah comes, he will rule the world. But they rejected the Messiah. Say, he's a bastard. And then they say, look, he died on the cross, so he couldn't be the Messiah. And then the prophet said that Allah will send into the world one who will impersonate the Messiah. al masih al-Dajjal. In order for him to impersonate the Messiah, he will have to rule the world from Jerusalem. If you want to rule the world, you have to first rule the world of money. You cannot rule the world without taking control of money. In order to take control of money, the first thing that you do is to replace real money with paper money. The second thing that you do is you, you de-link paper from gold. <laughs> and when paper no longer has any link with gold, you now start attacking the paper so it goes down and down and down and down. When the paper money goes down and down, there's number one a massive transfer of wealth from the masses to that blood-sucking predatory elite. The second thing that happens is that wages lose value because prices are going up. Hmm? As wages lose value, people are now imprisoned in something called slave wages. Slave wages. Slave wages. And when a man is imprisoned in slave wages, you have in fact enslaved him. When you enslave a people, you can now control them. You can now rule them. I hope someone can teach this lesson to Yasser Arafat. <laughs> Around the world today,